propagators of disinformation. Some individuals and groups spread disinformation for ideological reasons to discredit others, to promote extremist views, to create doubt about scientific facts, to promote bogus products, or to get money through fake ads or scams. When it comes to large-scale disinformation campaigns, those are generally sponsored by foreign states and state-sponsored actors to advance a country's national interests and agenda. The truth is that Russia and the CCP, the Communist Party of China, have been using information warfare against the United States and its allies around the world for many, many, many years. Uh, they spend billions and billions of dollars on it, and it's only recently, I think, that the West, the United States, Canada, our governments, have appreciated the extent to which uh, this kind of information warfare goes on. In our elections, we know China is coming after us. We know Russia is coming after us. They're going after Europe. They're going after Canada. They've done it to us before 2016, 2020. They're already attacking some of our state uh, election infrastructure. When you know a threat is coming, you have to go out there proactively and do something about it. And so we're up on the Hill telling members of Congress, put money into protecting our election infrastructure from cyber attacks. Help our 50 states modernize their election system so they're not sensitive to nor subject to the attacks of foreign adversaries. Russia went after uh, Slovakia in a, di a disinformation campaign several years ago. And we all remember Slovakia, I think it was about an 80% pro-Ukrainian country. After two years of Russian onslaught of propaganda, false information, uh, all kinds of cyber attacks, not only does Slovakia have now a pro-Russian government there, they also, 55% of the people in Slovakia believe the United States started the war in Ukraine. That's how Russia has been able to turn things around with their very, very, you know, evil and slanted propaganda campaigns to inflict this kind of disinformation on countries and completely turn things around. We need to make sure that foreign actors are not involved in our democracy spreading misinformation. Uh, I think one of the things that you sort of learn is that the post that you're seeing on X or other platforms isn't necessarily done by the person across the street or in your city or in Canada. Uh, they could be coming from Russia, they could be coming from Iran, they could be coming from countries that have a specific reason why they want to create division within North America and Canada and the United States. Canada, the United States and the UK endorsed a framework earlier this year to fight foreign disinformation campaigns. They are urging other democracies to join them as the spread of disinformation continues to grow through social media platforms and new online tools like generative AI. Watch and read more about disinformation, cyberbullying and online harms at cpac.ca slash disinformation dash and dash democracy. Regardez cette émission et lisez davantage sur la désinformation, la cyberintimidation et les méfaits en ligne à cpac.ca barre oblique désinformation tiré et tiré démocratie.